Well, hello. Oh, such a nice welcome. Yes, it is. They're lovely people, <laughs> all of them. So uh, it has been several years since you've been here. Yes. It's, it's been quite a while. You know, it's been so sad. Yeah, well, I'm happy that you're here. Me too. And you're flying all over the world to promote this movie. Where, where did you just come from? I just flew in from China, from Shanghai. When did you get here? So it's very hard to explain, but for some reason, you gain time. So I left in the afternoon and I arrived like earlier in the day. It's very, very strange. You, it's like, it's essentially a time machine. You it know? is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's bizarre. If you flew back and forth, you would never age. Yes. <laughs> This is an amazing theory. You just theory. go back and forth just, constantly. Yeah. Try it. I don't know if we can, that's, it may not work, but try it. <laughs> and you did something that I got to do a couple of years ago. You went on safari. I did. Was that your I first? I did, yeah, my yeah, first. Mine too. And did the lions just walk right next, oh yeah, you're close to the kid. They're in the middle of eating a warthog. Yeah. Pumba, you did, did you Pumba got it. You saw it after the kill or did you see the kill? I didn't see, I heard the kill uh -huh. and then we drove over and... Just, it was, yeah. It yeah, was they're serious. The noises that they make. It's, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, we, yeah, I didn't want to see a kill, but we got there after a kill. Oh, really? And because we had seen them, they literally walk right along next to your truck. Yeah. And did you have to do comfort stops? Yes. So I, that was my biggest question, like, because you, you're out in the middle of, of the bush, and you can't, you can't there's no uh, porta potty anywhere. And my first question was, was what happens? And they call them uh, comfort uh, stops. Comfort breaks. Uh, yeah. and, and you go behind a termite pile, and, uh, <laughs> and you're just hoping that a lion isn't going to show up when you're sitting it's there. It's so funny, because at the beginning, I was being really precious about it. I was like, oh, I'll, do, you know, I'll go quite a long way away from the truck, and I'll, like, you know, find myself a little spot. But by the end of it, I was like, no, I'm just being here. Like, yeah. Because <laughs> like, you're out for the hours. Yeah. Playing music on my phone. Yeah. You should not play music out there. <laughs> <laughs> Talking it's about. To come with yeah. you know, I understand. People hearing I understand. All right. Going on. So, so you're you're sharing this experience of uh, Beauty and the Beast with fans. What are you doing? Yeah. So I started this Instagram account um, called the Press Tour, and so you can follow the Press Tour. So we started in Paris, and it kind of like you know covers the journey. We went to London, just been to China. We're doing LA, and then moving on to New York. And um, it kind of like chronicles this crazy challenge I set myself, um, which was to try to do the whole of my, you know, my outfits for the tour as sort of like sustainably and ethically as I kind of possibly could. Um, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. Is that sustainable? What is that? Yes. So What's this, that made out of? Um, this is all organic silk. Um, it was made um, from the two new designers at Oscar de la Renta, um, Fernando and Laura. Um, these are Burberry organic silk. And this is going to sound really earnest and kind of ridiculous, but I, I actually just found out today that these earrings are from a brand called Article 22, and they're made from upcycled bombs that were collected from the Vietnam War shrapnel and then converted into jewelry. Wow. Into earrings. Yeah, I just found this out, and it's like... It's such a lovely idea to turn something so negative into something beautiful. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Oh, well, good for you. Well, you know. Now I want, um, to buy, <laughs> you want I'm, I'm going to buy Porsche some grenade earrings. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Um, do you remember, like, how old were you, you when the first Harry Potter came out, when you went to that premiere? Oh, my God. Um, 10 or 11? 10? Do you uh, remember what you wore? Oh, no. Do you want to see? <laughs> Do. Oh wow! Do you remember this wearing was, that? This was special. You know what I do because I, you know, this was my first ever movie premiere, and my mom and I planned this for weeks. It doesn't look like it, but there was a lot of thought that went into this. Um, I thought I looked amazing, by the way. Well, like, <laughs> I bet you did. Then it's yeah. you know, it's just uh, looking at it now. It, yeah. It. <laughs> me but I bet you looked fantastic then <laughs> so uh did you was this a role to take on that you wanted to do like watching Beauty and the Beast did, did you think I want to play that character oh my god if you had told me when I was five which is probably around the age that I was watching it on repeat that I would one day get to be Belle or I get to play Belle from Beauty and the Beast I would I mean I I don't know what I would have done a I wouldn't have believed you and b I would have freaked out like, I, I mean, I watched it so many times, I made my parents crazy. Like, 
That's, so many times. That's what kids do. That's what you do with those movies. Yeah. But um, you took it, and I think you did some really cool things with it because you sort of uh, changed her to be a little stronger. Yeah, I think it was very important to me that she be very active and that she be very um, in control of her own destiny and... Uh, yeah, I wanted her to, to be to be powerful, yeah. which, I mean, she already was, to be honest. And that's a great role for you to play. It yeah. really is. All right, Beauty and the Beast opens in theaters and IMAX everywhere on March 17th. When we come back, Emma is going to do one of our IFBs where she has something in her ear, and I'm going to tell her what to say, and she can't say anything except for what I tell her to say. And she's going to hire a nanny. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, we have set up hidden cameras in just a few moments. Emma Watson is going to interview a nanny, but the nanny isn't for her kids because she doesn't have any kids. The nanny is for her. <laughs> Emma, can you hear what I'm saying? Yes, I can hear what you're saying. Wonderful. Okay. So our nanny is uh, walking close to the door. Open the door and go, Yoo-hoo, I'm ready for you. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, I'm ready for you. Please come in. Sit wherever you want. Please right, come in. Sit wherever you want. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, interesting choice. Oh. Interesting choice. Oh, where do you want me to No, 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 that's fine. No, that's, that's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> you know, I assume someone told you about the position. I assume someone told you about this position? Yes. Okay, so I'm looking for a nanny. Okay, yeah. okay, so I'm looking for a nanny. Okay. But here's the thing. Oh, okay. I would but here's the thing. Okay. You'd be my nanny. You'd be my, my nanny? <laughs> I, I, got, I got the idea. I was watching The Bachelor. I got the idea. I was watching The Bachelor. You... Oh, my gosh. Corinne? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes. I thought it was so hilarious. Yes. And I was like, that's so awesome. Yes, that's what I thought, too. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. yeah. I, like, yeah. I started saying Vagine, too. Like, I started so saying Vagine, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> tell, me about, tell me a tiny bit about yourself. Tell me a tiny bit about yourself. Okay, well, I've been, uh, I lived in Texas before. And then I moved right, here cut, when I was her off. I got Wait, it. Um, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay. Um, so you put it making lunches. Yes, like the kids I've like taken care of, they were for a long time yep, but, now, so I love yes, it. Back to yeah. me. Yeah. Yep. Back Sorry, to me. Back to me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm very particular. I'm very particular. I don't like crusts on sandwiches. Uh, I don't like crusts on sandwiches. I don't like okay. milk, but I like Red Bull. I don't like milk, but I like Red Bull. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I like to go potty alone. I like to go potty alone. Okay. <laughs> I don't need you to help me potty. I don't need you to help me potty. But I want us to be like family. <laughs> but I want us to be like family. Uh huh. And the family that laughs together stays together. And the family that laughs together stays together. Start yeah. laughing. Start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. Keep going. Keep laughing. Keep going. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. Get, get crazy with the laughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just stop and stare. Now just stop oh and stare. <laughs> I want to be able to trust you with my secrets. I want to be able to trust you with my secrets. So, so I'm going to tell you something right so now. I'm going to tell you something right now. I've never told anyone. That I've never told anyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now just start crying. <laughs> my finger hurts. Okay. My, just, my finger really hurts. It's, it's an owie. It's an, it's an owie. <laughs> Hold your finger out. Make it better. Can you make it better? Yeah. I just rub it. I don't know what to do. See, that was a test. You did very well. That was a test. You did. I was like, I don't see it. Okay. Uh, hold on. What time is it? Hold on. What time is it? 4.27. It's snack time. It's snack time. Snack time? Open up the cabinet. The tree? Go into the cabinet. One of these. There's a lollipop in there. Something? It's under the coffee pot. Wow. All right. All right. Good. <laughs> Take a lick some of it. But offer it to her. Oh, no, thank you. I don't need candy. I don't need candy. Hey, I just remembered I need to I text was, someone. When I was, hey, I just remember that I need to text someone. Oh, your phone's over here. Do you want me to get out of here? Act like you're looking at a text and go, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Throw the phone, throw the phone, no. No! 
and just look in the mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Who's the best little girl of them all? Who's the best little girl of them all? You are, Emma, you are. You are, Emma. You are. <laughs> Here's one more thing I think you should know. There's one more thing I think you should know. I'm not looking for a nanny. I'm not looking for a nanny. You're okay. on. I was like, is this a joke or it, not? Yes, you're on the Ellen Show right now. Oh. You're on the Ellen Show. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>